Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing this portable airbrush with compressor. Now, I've done a bunch of these uh, over the years, and um, not too many innovations, but the prices has gone up, particularly one that I reviewed not too long ago. I mean, it was last year. Um, yep, that's 50, 60. One of them is 70, 80 bucks. And um, while it's good quality with the replaceable batteries and all, I mean, at that point, just buy a you know, a $60 compressor, and a $70 compressor, and uh, maybe a gallery or an entry-level airbrush, and, you, and you're doing good. But the reason why I saw this and it caught my eye is because it was 20 bucks, And um, not only do you get the compressor and the airbrush, check this out. Oh, there goes Power Wolf. Look out, guys. Check this out, guys. You get two airbrushes, <laughs> and uh, it's cool how they put a distinction between the two, and uh, but they didn't have to because check this out. You get two needle sizes. That's why they did it, and they mark the airbrush. That's the point five, and this is the point three. Now these are those real entry level, you know, I mean decent for what they are built, cheap Chinese knockoffs, and um, it it looks like. Yep, I get. I think the air is going to be constant flow because there's no give here. Yep, it's going to be a constant flow. Um, well, before I make any judgment, we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, let's look at the compressor here. What do we got? There we go. And reading this quick, it says it ships with a full charge. And uh, we shall see. Uh, if that is the case, shout out again to freaking reviews. All right. Um, it looks like, yeah, it attaches directly to it. There's a seal right there, so I'm going to guess this has a, no, okay, doesn't have a hose. Wait a minute. This one had, so this is a regular airbrush. I'm going to have to take off this fitting. Yep. So you know what? I'm going to turn on my compressor and see if it does the same thing with no air. Now, this one's cup is right here. I guess these are interchangeable, but I like these for putting a lot of primer down I think that's a pretty good idea and uh, I'll fill it right up and this I would use the cap if I'm gonna do a lot of priming but um, let's see now this is another good um, feature in that you hit it three times for different pressures now check out the pressure we got here we have it says hold on guys hold on hold on let me pause this guy and show you. Let me pause this guys and show you the exact uh, uh, thing I want to show you about the air pressure. Well, that didn't take long either for you or me. I found it the second I pulled it away. You push it once for 25, again the 28, and then the 30 psi. So yeah, I'm, 25 is probably fine on both. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to uh, spray primer in one. And the bigger one, and then uh, we'll spray. Uh, we'll spray. Uh, maybe I, I think we'll use my steel apple because it's got a, a nice metal flake to it, and uh, we'll see how that goes through the uh, the smaller needle. And that's all. But uh, kind of impressive that it comes with two airbrushes at twenty bucks um, with the compressor. Uh, even if you use these for a couple of months and toss them, I mean, uh, was a Big Mac uh, value meal is twelve bucks. Uh, this is. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. But, I mean, I'm not expecting uh, I'm going to paint a Picasso with these things. It comes with the charging cable. Yep, there it is. All right. All right, I'm going to see if this is charged. Hold on, guys. I keep a USB right here. Yep, it's charged. She is green. All right, here we go. Let's see what the sound is at one, two, and three. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be one of those constant spraying all the time. But uh, the old is what it is. What can you do? So the black one is the 0 0.3. And, of course, this is the 0 0.5. So we're going to leave this cup on it for now. And I think what else I'm going to do at the end of this test is I'm going to leave this running because I think it's going to run constantly. Uh, that's my uh, experience, guys, with... Uh, Put this on. 
that's my experience. Here we go. That's my experience with um, when you can't push this down, it's constant air. So let's get this out of the way. Let's take out a cup. Let's take out this other airbrush. All right. I'm going to put this box aside, guys. And here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's get this out of here, too. Let's clean up the area. Here we go. Yeah, it's blowing through, just like I thought. It's a little quieter, though. Yeah, you're just going to release the paint. So here's what we're going to do. After we do this test and see how it paints, we're going to sit it here with a timer and see how long it lasts. How's that? And I, you can't spray it. See, it's green. You can't spray it with... Uh, let me turn it off. You can't spray it with, um, with it being charged, it says in the instructions. But 20 bucks. If this performs decent, I would say it's worth 20 bucks. Um, but like I said, we're going to lay down some primer on this uh, pro, uh, Prowler kit. By a prowler kit, I mean right there, the old, the old prowler. I got a bunch of kits in my inventory, multiples, so I can use testing and whatnot. So we'll put some primer on that. We'll try it on the hood too. There's the hood. And uh, for the primer, we are going to use this little uh, sneak peek. This is my black primer that's coming out in October. I have a light gray, a dark gray, a white, and a black. And uh, this formula is really good. Uh, this stuff lays down beautifully. Um, I guess everybody's going to get a sneak peek. I showed off more details of it in my Patreon channel if you want to join. But, uh, yeah, this is coming soon. I got a set of primers coming and more colors coming. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. We'll do the color first. We'll do my steel apple. And uh, we'll spray that on a couple of spoons here and see how that performs. And we'll see if we can get some fine lines out of it. Does the cap come off so we can get closer? It looks like it. Yeah, it does. All right. I'm not going to really attempt that, but I don't know how fine line we're going to get. But anyway, if it sprays this pretty nicely, um, that'll be the test. And then we're going to go on to the primer. Anyway, let's, uh, let's me fire up my booth, which is this way, my Pace spray booth. And let's check out this $20 double airbrush and compressor set. Fingers crossed it works because uh, I do like a bargain. All right, my friends, a quick test. I took the other one that had the uh, standard fitting, the 1 8th. I put a quick release, and here's my compressor, my uh, Cool 2 Deep compressor. Let's go ahead. Nah, it always blows out. Yeah, it's an always, it always blows out air. And that just releases the paint. Can you hear it? Oh, well. Well, that's, <laughs> I knew that's what it was going to be, but for the test, when I do uh, the primer with this larger needle, we're going to just pull this part off that it came with, and that's just going to go into the top of the compressor, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let me put these uh, on the bench. Sorry, guys, my voice is drifting back there. Anyway, we are here, and we grab a couple of spoons and a piece of white cardboard to see how it sprays, and um, let me shake up my steel apple is it shaken up it is shaken not stirred all right oh there we go fresh bottle now let's go right in the bottom here and get a lot of that metal flake out of there all right there we go all right let me get this out of the way so it don't spill oh boy here we go You know, atomizes it pretty good. I don't know if I can get a tight line, though. I... No way. I'm not going to get a tight line with this. No way. This is going to be for base coats, that's for sure. Well, let's see what we get. Let's see how it atomizes the paint. Well, it lays it down. You know what this is? This is like having a nice uh, spray can. <laughs> a customizable spray can. All right, let's try it over the gloss black. Uh, there's not much I can do here. It just I'll go a little lighter here with the touch. Seems to come out a little heavy, a little too early. But you know, it's it performs. The thing is, we're gonna see how long it lasts when we put the timer on it. But it performs. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let me clean this out, and let me switch it up and try the large one. We'll go with some primer, and we'll prime that little uh, car kit, 
and we'll see how that performs. Let's turn that off and uh, meet you back at the booth. All right, guys, here we go. I put this on my Vortex mixer, which I have a new Vortex mixer to test coming up, maybe next. Let's load this right up. I don't know how much I'm going to need. All right, what you want to do with these is you want to wipe them off right away. Close her down and just keep spinning and keep it clean. All right. All righty, here we go. Here we go. You know what? Let's put the cap on. There we go. It's got a hole in it. Yep, it does. All right. Let's try and see what kind of uh, coverage we're going to get. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is going to uh, this is going to cover our car, a kit pretty quickly. I'll tell you right now. Well, look, I have to push down to get any dust off, right? There is one <laughs> that wasted no time. All right, let's go ahead and get the car. Hold on, let me go to turn off this thing. I'm going to uh, put a glove on my hand so I can get a little closer when I paint this. All right, let's get this off its base here. One second, guys. Put this behind. There we go. And turn this back on. Getting any dust off here. There we go. I mean, really, lays this paint down quickly. But it seems to atomize it pretty good. Go figure. No complaints here. I wish the compressor wasn't constantly running. Now, that test is coming up. We'll see how long it lasts and how warm it is at the end of that, too. But uh, at 20 bucks, um, I am not going to say anything uh, questionable here. Oops, I'm trying to flip this around. Here we go. Here we go. hood is already done and in the dehydrator this looks good it covers really really well uh, let's turn this off there we go all right let me clean this out the other one cleaned out pretty good standard cleaning um, any extra this I'll pour back in my bottle let me go put this in the dehydrator on the stand that's it all right I'll meet you back at the bench and we're gonna time this thing how long it stays running Check this out guys, I uh, put some thinner in there, some lacquer thinner, put the lid on it, shake it up. Check how powerful this thing is. Look at that. <laughs> That's pushing some paint, man. Um, but it atomizes it pretty good. Uh, let's see if you can see it on a black piece of paper because this is thinner. You know, it's going to dry off quickly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm kind of impressed with uh, how much paint it actually moves and this is on uh, 15 PSI, I think. Anyway, I wanted to show you how nice it cleans out. And uh, All right, we'll head back to the bench now, and we'll time this thing. All right, my friends, before we look at the results of the painting, we're going to go ahead and see how long this lasts on a charge. And um, I'm going to pull out a stopwatch timer here. There we go. And I got this, uh, what was I listening to? This is a phone stand. Ah, Saga, Worlds Apart. Love Saga. Just bought their entire collection of the remasters. Boy, they had like 15 or 18 albums, that band. Uh, yeah, this came with, uh, I don't know what it came with. It was like a free gift. But I use it, I actually, you know, speaking of bands. See, I'll show you. I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent. If I'm listening, my stereo is right over here, but the speakers are right here in front of me. I just put this, you know, next to me, and I can see the track listing as I look over, you know. Uh, that's a new album. I mean, once I... Uh, Get used to an album. I don't need to know the track listing because 
I would have figured that out by then. So let's go ahead, see if this will hold this up. It will. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start both. All right, I am going to pause the camera. We're going to walk away here, so to speak, and I'll come back. I don't know, we'll see if this thing lasts even 10 minutes. And uh, I'll try to get back here before it runs out, or at least catch that on camera. So we'll let this run. Uh, for me, it's boring. For you guys, it's about two seconds. So <laughs> I'm going to go get a drink and uh, check on Ollie and uh, my wife, Judy. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's check in here quickly. Uh, we're almost at eight minutes. Uh, I wanted to check the temperature of it. It seems to be running pretty good so far. Um, here we go. Uh, you know, it's a little warm. Uh, not really. It's lukewarm right here. Hold on. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me see. Really much quieter when you hold it. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Barely starting to get a little bit warm. You can feel that it's warm instead of cold steel, so to speak. Uh, all right. Uh, let me pause it one more time. And we'll get back here uh, after I pass the 10-minute mark. I'll decide and see how strong it's going or how long I'm going to uh, let this experiment go on. All right, guys, I'm going to come in here in about 15 minutes and uh, put an end to this experiment. Uh, because I think at this point you can feel it getting warm. Not super warm, but warm. And you would probably want to. You can hear it still running. It never stopped. So uh, let's turn that off. Um, I personally think I would stop in all, all of these... Uh, get my phone out of here. All of these um, portable compressors anyway. I, I like to give a break after 15, 20 minutes. Looks like this one will make the 20 minutes. And um, I think your hand would be wary also. But it will run. It ran the whole time. Um, kind of impressed. So let me show you the results. And then let's wrap this up. This is my candy apple red. It's sprayed beautifully. It's smooth. This is the shiny black base. Of course, this is the black flat black primer base. Big difference. And uh, let me grab the black primer, which is right over here. Let me grab the car. I just grabbed it out of the dehydrator. And, uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Did a great job. Um, the first experiment I had with this new primer was on this aircraft kit. And I was blown away by it. I'm on a little bit off of a tangent here on the new primer that I'm working on. Look at this primer. It just goes down beautifully. And uh, I was so glad that they um, would let me in on, the, in on this uh, primer and uh, let me launch it in my name. More details coming up, but it's coming out sooner than we think. It'll be out in October. Anyway, that's what this primer is. But look, it sprayed it beautifully. I have nothing, uh, there's nothing bad to say here. Uh, what can I say? It was 20 bucks, and this is impressive. This looks like I airbrushed it with uh, my swallowtail. So, um, yeah, so let me grab the box here. Hold on, guys, let me grab the box. So there we go. Uh, yeah, 20 bucks. I hope it's still 20 bucks, you know. Um, well, I got you guys here. Let me look it up on my phone. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it's still 20 bucks. Hold on. Yo, 20 bucks. Oh, it's even less. 10% coupon. So I'm going to put this link for you guys. Um, if you, anybody grabs this thing, don't forget to clip the coupon. Grab another 10%. Which is, what is that, two bucks? You know, so, yeah, grab it. <laughs> it puts it below $20 if you got Prime. And for God's sakes, it comes with two two airbrushes, which is uh, pretty amazing, actually. I mean, they're not the greatest airbrushes, but you know what? They both perform. I can't say anything bad here. The only thing I don't like is the constant air pressure running, which is a little odd. All you do is pull it back, and, uh, yeah, it's got a stopper. I don't know if I really need that. I usually don't use my stoppers. But anyway, there you go, guys. That is the test. Uh... Yeah, so uh, I'll put the link below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're climbing up, getting to that 100 thou with a huge, massive giveaway once we reach 100,000. So you want to be subscribed, and you want to make sure you uh, hit the notification bell to make sure you're always in on these videos. Because when we hit 100 thou, we're going to do a little bit of a celebration video and uh, a huge giveaway. I'm talking one of my airbrushes, a compressor, a spray booth, uh, uh, paints, a kit, 
it's going to be a nippers. It's going to be a mega super Christmas for whoever wins this super prize. But it's uh, something I planned all along. I I, I I figured if I hit a hundred thou, I would do that for you guys. And uh, we're approaching it now, so we can see it on the horizon. And uh, I appreciate it so much. So please like the video, and uh, I want you guys to have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you soon in the next video. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I have a Vortex uh, mixer coming up. I have some paint tests coming up. I got the metallic markers in from uh, Sharpie. I want to test those with the regular markers. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff planned. I got my paints coming out. I got primers coming up. So a lot of fun to come. A lot of fun. Anyway, guys, have a great day. God bless you all. You guys are the best. Have a good one.